Welcome, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and let's dive into the Word. Today's Gospel reading is a short one taken from the book of Mark, chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. It's just two lines that read, Then he went home, and the crowd came together again, so that they could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, He has gone out of his mind. At this point in the gospel, Jesus had started offending people. At the start of this chapter, we see Jesus curing the man with a withered hand on a Sabbath, even though the Pharisees were literally watching him. After that, he goes on to appoint the 12 apostles, random men, a tax collector, some fishermen, all from different backgrounds, but for sure not your typical synagogue leader or teacher of the word material. And then Jesus goes home and his own family comes and takes him away because they've been convinced that he's basically lost it. And if we continue to read through, the scribes start to accuse him of working with and for Satan, which if you ask me, gives his family all the more reason to think he's gone mad. In spite of this all, we know one thing. None of this stopped Jesus from continuing through his mission and ministry. Till the end, Jesus persevered through all the hate, criticism, neglect and accusations that he received not just from outsiders, but even from within his own family. How hurt and dejected Jesus must have felt to know that his own flesh and blood didn't have his back. But one thing that we can take away from this is from just a few verses prior to today's gospel. Just as all eyes were on Jesus to see if he was going to cure the withered man, the man with the withered hand on a Sabbath day, in Mark chapter 3, verse 4, it says, He said to them, Is it lawful to do good or to do harm on the Sabbath, to save life or to kill? Brothers and sisters, how many times are we faced with the decision to choose between two things? The one that will make us feel accepted by those around us or the right thing? How many times have we come, have we chose to please the people around us instead of doing what God wants us to do? This could be as big as leaving a financially secure job to live a life of service to God and his people, or as simple as leaving your comfort zone and reaching out to someone your peers wouldn't normally do. Yes, just saying that we ought to do the right thing and not the socially acceptable one is easier said than done. But yet again, Jesus doesn't leave us on our own. If there's one thing that's evident throughout the Gospels is that Jesus is a true leader in that he leads by example. He not only shows us what we are to do, but also how we are to do it. And he doesn't stop there. He doesn't expect us to do it with our own strength. He gives us the Holy Spirit who gives us the grace and strength to do what is right. We see this in the life of Saint Agnes, whose feast we celebrate today. She died a virgin and martyr at the young age of 12 or 13 and is widely known as the patron saint of young girls, chastity, and of rape survivors. She was a beautiful young girl that angered and insulted men by her devotion to God and purity. Agnes refused many gifts and riches promised to her by men who were trying to win her over. Whenever a man wished to marry Agnes, she would always say, Jesus Christ is my only spouse. At one point, the governor's son, Prokop, even tried to send her to a place of sin, but an angel protected her. And at the end, she was content, 
condemned to death. Even the pagans were devastated to see such a young and beautiful girl going to death and begged her to save herself. But all she said was, I would offend my spouse if I were to please you. He chose me first and he shall save me. I don't think Agnes was able to do this on her own. She submitted to God's will through prayer and surrender and with the Holy Spirit by her side and within her through every step of the way. I invite you, my brothers and sisters, today, will you choose the one who first chose you? Have a blessed day ahead.